TV, a production of Sula Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, Sula family. I'm Mrs. Buchanan, and today is Friday, June 5th, 2020. Today is PJ Movies and Snacks Day. So, I got my PJs on. I got my snacks ready. Now, I'm just waiting for a movie. It's gonna be fun. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Little Felidad de los Estados Unidos de America que representa una nación bajo Dios indivisible y con libertad y justicia para todos. Our weather forecast today is 86 and partly sunny. The forecast has been changing all over the place. Yesterday it was supposed to rain and it didn't. So today they said rain like two hours ago and now it's partly sunny. So I don't even know what the temperature is going to be, but we're guessing 86 and partly sunny. Don't forget the seal is offering a grab and go lunch, breakfast, and snack every day, Monday through Friday from 1030 to 1230. All meals are free for anyone 18 years and younger. Please welcome Mrs. Tuziant for guess her. Happy Friday, Wolfpack. Are you ready for the reveal of Guess Who? This person said that if they weren't a teacher, they don't really know what they would be doing because they love their job. They said specifically that they're doing what they've always wanted to do. Help students understand how creative they are, how creative you all are, through movement. So when you think of movement, what teachers in the school come to your mind? I know that Mrs. Buchanan really likes to dance because I've seen that on the news. I've seen Coach Morgan throw a football or two. I know she likes movement. Then you have Miss Nelson. Miss Nelson plays like all of the sports, like all of them. So I guess it maybe could be her. Hmm. Or could it be Mr. Pittman, our new middle school PE teacher? I assume he likes movement because he likes sports and PE too. Hmm. I don't know. Who do you think it is? Creative through movement. Oh, I think I know. I think it's Mr. Shawwell. Did you guess Mr. Shawwell too? Mr. Shawwell is our amazing dance teacher at Sela. He teaches both elementary school students and middle school students. He choreographs lots of awesome performances for our students, including when our fourth graders went to Brookdale Assisted Living across the street for our Christmas concert. They did a phenomenal job, and Mr. Shawwell is a phenomenal teacher, which means he's really amazing. He also works for the Charlotte Ballet. So I think it's really awesome that he works with Sela and he works with professional dancers. And I think he's helping some of our students on their way to becoming professional dancers. So. Thank you, Mr. Shawwell, for participating. Thank you to all of our awesome teachers that have submitted their information for Guess Who this year. Thank you all for playing along, and we'll see you in the fall. Have a great summer. Bye. Now for a CELA moment. connected to Class Dojo for important announcements and information. On Class Dojo and on Facebook, you'll find student material pickup schedule. You'll have an opportunity to pick up your child's materials on Wednesday, June 10th through Friday, June 12th. Your child's assigned a time based upon his grade level or her grade level and last name. If you have more than one student at CELA, you may choose one time to pick up both of their materials. Please turn in your library books when you come to pick up your students' materials. Please contact the school with any questions. Also, be sure to check out PE and Dance Friday with Coach Bullard and Mr. Shawwell on Class Dojo or Facebook. We need your videos for CELA Junior Moments. Show us your plans for this summer. We want to see. Send your videos to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen. Videos should be one minute or less. Now for a CELA Junior Moment. Hola, soy Manuel Enriquez. Hoy les enseñaré cosas livianas y pesadas. 
El carro es liviano. La botella de agua es pesada. La servilleta es liviana. El jugo es pesado. El pato es más liviano que el control. La crema es más pesada que el teléfono. El calendario es más liviano que el que la botella. Adiós. Yesterday's riddle. What two words combined contain the most letters? What two words combined contain the most letters? This one's a trick riddle. Uh, it's the post office. Post office. Two words combined have the most letters. It didn't mean alphabet letters. It means letters you get in the mail. Letters. Post office. Now for a jovial joke. Jovial means funny. So we're going to hear a funny joke. What are the strongest days of the week? What are the strongest days of the week? Saturday and Sunday. The rest are weekdays. Week, W-E-A-K, like the opposite of strong, week. But it's also a play on the word W-E-E-K, like a weekday. But strong, week, weekday. Saturday and Sunday, the rest are weekdays. Ah, that was funny. You might have to write that one out to get it, though, to see what it means. But, it, well, that was funny. I hope that you had fun this past week showing your school spirit. I sure did. Lots and lots of fun. Let's take a walk down memory lane with Sela Memories. <laughs>